Accessing the Options section. Your parameters have been saved. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. You? Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks.
Hi, honey. You okay? Listen, listen, I told you not to call me this number. I got a kid. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitching. 
Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I would like to start reviewing the case files. Can you tell me where I can... Talk to Hank. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. You take a look at these samples yet? Says they Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Listen to Knights of the Black Death. I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? And 43 files. Take a look at these First yeah. dates back nine months. Lab report says they cut it all something. started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. An AX 400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point yeah, for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and- Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay?
I suggest you sort out your personal issues and let me work with someone more competent. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.
That's all for now. Ready to go. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. So what do we got here? Bus driver saw it at 2.30. Seen at a convenience store. It stole wire cutters. There must be a reason. Wire cutters? What the fuck are you talking about? I checked the CCTV while you were questioning the clerk. The android was caught on camera stealing them. It had wire cutters, and it was looking for a place to hide. So, what's your conclusion, Sherlock? Maybe it didn't go far. <laughs> Ralph found this to feed the little girl. <laughs> it's good for her. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. Come. Come and sit down. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. Uh, we will eat together, just like a family. You know, the father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> No, Ralph. We're leaving now. Come on, Alice. The little girl's going nowhere. Humans don't eat that, Ralph. Humans eat dead animals. I know that. You're not going to hurt her, are you? We're friends. Remember? No, Ralph doesn't want to hurt the little girl. He just wants her to eat. That's all. Okay. We'll eat together. Like a family. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. <laughs> it wouldn't be polite for her to refuse. Would it? <laughs> Great. It's going to be great. <laughs> succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Mother, mother, little girl. Please, Car. I don't want to eat that. What did she say? She said she can't wait to eat it. She's very hungry. The little human is not going to regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Stand up now, and we're going to leave, Ralph. No. No, you're not going to leave. Not until Ralph says so. You said you wanted to be like a family, Ralph. Father, mother, the little girl, remember? 
father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. Ralph went to a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. But Ralph is not bad. No, not bad. Then let us go. Anybody home? There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Hey, where are you going? I can't let them get away. They won't. They'll never make it to the other side. I can't take that chance. Now you will get yourself killed. Do not go after him, Connor. That's an order. 